Here we go. Ryan, updating you on the new Kimber's Tolo just purchased today. 531. You see we have the box right here. I'm going to go ahead and go to initial unboxing. Got it from Superior Pawn and Gun in Virginia Beach. After taxes right around 1300 bucks. Uh, the new Kimber Solo is a, this is the second edition, the second batch, so we're hoping to not have the same type of issues that the first Solo had. These will be the first rounds put through it. As you see, you've got a zipper case, uh, soft sided. Opens up for the new firearm itself with all the tags. We'll take the Kimber Solo out real quick, place it right here. So we've got the Kimber Trace manuals, the Coons and Trace manuals. Uh, it comes with, of course, a lockman, uh, a gun lock, as well as a disclaimer. It's really pretty, from Kimber, right here, that talks about the solo and says what you should do. And specifically, it says, should we use 124 to 147 grain jacket at hollow points? Today, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be shooting blazer brass just to see what happens. First overall look at the Kimber. We'll do a safety check for you. Uh, release the magazine, lock it to the rear. Of course, as you can see, the uh, pistol is small, uh, which is part of the attraction of the solo. It's got that beautiful melt edges all over, as you can see. Uh, the che rosewood checkering right here, full, first B30 lines per inch, nice deep serrations, plus the Meprolite, uh, which is really nice. It does have the ambidextrous safety as well as the Amtrak's uh, magazine release. A couple things I've heard of people firing Kimber shows up there uh, may hit this and actually cause the magazine to release a little bit it so that it will not really see. We're going to go ahead and shoot a nice little magazine. These are the first shots with the Kimber solo. Slide is loaded. Ran fed the round properly. Safety is off. Laser grips are on. Laser grips are properly sighted at uh, 50 feet like we've got right here. Right in the target range. Looks like we're up. Still flying a little high. It's got a powerful little recoil. That one was a little bit pulled down to the left. Not bad for a snub though. Oh, the barrel is. <laughs> Magazine locked to the rear, as you would have expected. Six rounds straight through. This is 15 grain, not recommended. It's just the blazer yeah. brass, the copper or bronze edition, and it's firing just fine. I'm going to put a few more rounds through it off camera and see what we've got. We're going to pull it forward just so that we can see. Uh, I shot the left side with the lasers at uh, 20 feet, 21 feet. I shot the right side with uh, night sight snow lasers and we can see the difference. So as you can see here, the laser grouping is a little bit different. Of course, uh, I'm not really used to shooting with a laser. I'm used to shooting uh, the iron sights or the night sights. Uh, and also here, as, as though we do have a general grouping minus this one throw, uh, this general grouping is as high to the left, uh, maybe a couple minutes of angle, so we'd have to actually look maybe half a minute of angle, so we'd have to adjust for that. The sights are sighted in at uh, 50 feet. We'll run it to the back of the range and see what happens. However, transition to the right, look at this. This is six rounds right here. Uh, those sights are on. Uh, that is with the night sights. I'm, uh, you know, we're bridging two rounds per hole, good sight picture and everything else. The action with this pistol is unprecedented I have seen, especially given the amount of kick that it has. It really, you need a, a soft, uh, I mean a hard hold onto it. Firing this, it was a, a regulatively medium, uh, medium feel, medium strength. But this with the, the regular sights that were on the pistol, outstanding at 21 feet. Okay, so here's the deal. After 100 rounds, I had no time to fire, no third to eject, no magazine issue. Round 50, I had an issue. It's when I decided to insert the magazine manually with the slide rack forward, like this. 
and then cycle it. Well, that little spring is so tough, I wouldn't suggest doing that because it doesn't catch right. That caused a feed issue. However, when you mow the load magazine from the slide to the rear position, and you press it and it falls forward, then you're going to have a load opportunity. Uh, you won't have any failure to feed that way. It was the only issue that I had with the camera. My first few rounds, uh, first 12 rounds were right on point, dialed in the laser pretty nicely. Uh, the round 100, uh, the fit of the gun got a little bit um, tenuous, uh, just because it has no additional grip for your pinky. So it made a little hold and uh, actually it was a little bit uh, diminished at that point, but that's a training issue, and that's uh, pretty much an issue of the gun. Oh, great pistol, enjoyed it, and had a wonderful time.